up, YouTube? This is your girl, Toya G, also known as Hearsay, the poet, H-E-A-R-S-A-Y, the poet. And right now, what I simply want to do is a piece for you called I Am an Eracist. Uh, what inspired this piece was just the fact that as a citizen of this planet, uh, it has become my job to break by brick and stone by stone in whatever way I see fit, break down the walls um, of what I'd like to call ismism. Uh, the idea that you can use isms like racism, sexism, classism to confine people to a group in which they're not able to touch, taste, and feel the tangible parts of this world that we are all and we have all been set here to enjoy. So it's basically just my concept or my way of looking at tearing down isms, especially and specifically for me in the world of debate. I'm in college right now doing the debate thing. I'm a intercollegiate debater, been all around the country, and all I want to see is within that activity us tear down the walls of racism, sexism, classism, and any other ism that separates us as a people. So with that, I am any racist. I am any racist in this time of these faces, because if I have to deal with this another season, go ahead and put me on a slave ship. So I can go back to the land of my origination, put a blade sharp in the scalpel, time for debate, decapitation, see this. Come to my attention, but it's fight against the isms. So many sides, it's like the prison must be handled with precision. What do I mean by an ism, him, her, and rhythm, who, y'all, what we do affect the judge's last decision is racism, sexism, that boy, your girl's a little lessism, gayism, biism, where's your soup and tieism, classism, religionism, because I live in an inner city system, this ism, that ism, I'm sick of all of that isn't it enough that I stand on these two feet, say what I feel inside my heart, deny my eyes of defeat. I hope it is, because I am any racist, and it's time we face this, because if I have to deal with this another season, go ahead and put me on a slave ship. Now let's talk about the line by line. You pick it up at 30 seconds of what we say in nine minutes' time. All we ask is you evaluate us in a holistic fashion, prove you've agreed, sign the battles as a side of asking. Lately, how it's been, we've been pretty accepting, but I'm about to get to your head like my name was Excedrin. Status quo has got to go. I know it's hard to believe, but traditional must be fixed you know, for the goal we're trying to achieve. The only way to make our change is solely count the hegemonics so we go in and shake things up just like debate with play tectonics. Why do I do this? It's simple. I am any racist in this time that we face this because if I have to deal with this in the season, go ahead and put me on a slave ship. And if I make it to the ship, send me next to one of those future policy makers so I can look them in their eyes and call them fakers and shake and see. They pretend to do debate to let it help the greater good. But how good is it if greatness comes by passing policies no one would see? Education today is a very heavy topic. It's too important to forget and not be wrong if I just drop it. It's like the bullet to my gun, I hypothetically I cock it. I use the info that I have. It's mine in Houston, but I rock it. The traditional aspect of debate manipulation is stripped away the education from this policy equation. You see, you never really learn by debating alone. Even Tim Wise said you gain the most knowledge by what you're doing at home. The research phase is where you gain the most action. After that, it's just reciting taglines of reading the captions. By approaching the debate with a minority perspective, you rethink the debate experience and it becomes more reflective of a need to be more inclusive and less minority exclusive by engaging in diversity, better results will be conclusive. Now, as in the races, I come along to try to change this because we turned our version to an eight-year-old and then we beat and we raped it. But listen, we're going to make it. I wouldn't dare try to fake it. That's why I come to you today to simply try to erase it. It being a the theme that causes the exclusion of people and the notion that for some reason we can't all just be equal. We shut down the idea that the debate is just for the boys because I'm a black girl bringing heat and I got plenty of noise. I am an racist and it's time that we face this. You can call me a radical, but you got to embrace this. Please, everybody, become an racist. That's pretty much it. I am any racist. You should become an racist too. It's a beautiful life to live because piece by piece, like I said, brick by brick and stone by stone, we can tear down ignorance and separation by embracing diversity. Shout out to Sony. Peace out.